Hi everybody, I'm Dahlia. Welcome into day 30 of my hardcore run here on YouTube in Fallout 76. I'm very excited that she survived this long. She's level 58 and I think we're actually walking into the Enclave today which is pretty important to me because the big goal has been to see if we can get to the point where we're launching a nuke. So that's epic. I, let's see, hold on. Oops. I want to say hello to Sniperman Boss, Labyrinth, Gardenia Goo, Lauren in the Wasteland. Thank you so much for being here early, everybody. It means a lot to me. I hope that you had a nice afternoon so far. Thank you so much for the compliments on the thumbnail, Lauren. And it's so nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. So let's see what we can get into here. Explore the White Spring Bunker. Oh yeah, I'm also excited to announce that this is the third season that my hardcore character has lived through. She's already completed two seasons. So that's kind of a big deal, right? Kind of awesome. Kind of a big deal. So let's see what she can get into today. First, I'm going to see if any of my friends are here. It doesn't look like it. I will start a casual team. Snipey says it took a long nap today and my paint sprayer came in, so I'm happy about that. Nice. That's awesome. I'm going to take a nap. Then see if I have my cranberry relish. I feel like the game sound is really quiet. Maybe I should turn it up. I think I had turned it down, possibly. Whoa, I hit the microphone. No room to move in here. Sheep Squatch ate my brother. Mean Sheep Squatch. A sheep squatch? I hope I do not meet in permadeath. I feel like a few weeks ago there was an incident where we met a sheep squatch and I ran away and hid, remember? And then we watched someone else kill it through a window. Snipey says, yeah, it does sound quiet. Let me turn that up a little bit. All right, that should be good. I feel a kindred spirit. How about bowling arcade? Hi, Andre, welcome, how are you? Great to see you again. Sniper Moon Boss says, there we go, it was the effects. Slice of birthday cake. I'm already over encumbered. What kind of food do I have on me as it is? Food and drink. I have some toxic water, some stingwing filet. I already have 15 slices of birthday cake, so maybe I'll eat about 10 of those, or 12. Whatever. Roast mega sloth, rad toad omelet. Lights in the sky. It's communication. The purified it's water I usually intent. like to sell. Mutt chops. Mutt chops is plus two endurance. Iguana on a stick for luck. Glowing meat is good, but I think you need two or four to make a steak. Cranberry cobbler, let's go. Canned meat stew. I'm like carrying all my food, apparently. May cause blackouts. This will take me somewhere random. Don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need this. Ooh. 
Woo! Rank 35 achieved! Woo! <clears throat> Don't need that. <clears throat> Alright, I think I'm ready to go explore the White Springs Bunker. Labyrinth says, I'm having dinner now. Nice, what are you having for dinner? Maybe we should cook before we go. May cause blackouts. That may not be pleasant. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Have you ever seen anybody take that before? It does have a funny thing that it does. I won't spoil it. I was going to say I would take it right now for a fun adventure, but we already have a plan. We're doing one of us. Explore the White Springs Bunker. Yay. So let's do that first. And then if there's time later, we'll drink the vintage Nukashan. Have to stick to the plan. Labyrinth says chicken curry with rice. Yum. So I have a chainsaw. I was kind of surprised to see that I'm sporting a chainsaw in this. Gotta wonder I mean, who chainsaws else is are OP. Watching They're my us. favorite. Trying to figure us all out. Juggernaut's tire iron. Assassin's Fat Man. Anti-armor chainsaw. This girl's getting kind of stacked. So let's see. I think we made it to White Springs once already. What does this say? Explore the White Spring Bunker. Oh yeah, they want you to go in on this weird side, right? Didn't we already do this? Maybe I did it and this progress wasn't saved. I think if you don't finish quests in this game, you have to start over. Andre says, just got a new pet for camp. Nice! Which one did you get, Andre? Kongville says, I'm just about to start streaming, but I saw you were live, so I wanted to stop by and say hi. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much for doing that, Kongville. Super heartness. I am having a good day, and I hope you have a good day, too, and have a good stream. Alright, let's sneak in. Very carefully. I have a fluffy pillow squishy. It's a piece of bread. Mmm, delicious squishy of bread. So I think there's going to be extra streams this week. I have, I have multiple new games to play. So I'm going to release my schedule sometime after stream today. But be sure to check. It's... Post it on Discord. Otherwise, it YouTube, like, will have a little box. Like, a little bit before the stream starts. I don't know. It's probably easier to check Discord. <laughs> Security baton. What's here? Bobby pin box. Battered clipboard. Hmm, good junk in here. Labyrinth says the lizard pet. Oh yeah, as a new friend. I just claimed that. I haven't set it up yet. I can't wait to see what it is. DMH Flip, welcome! Do some sneaking around. Sneaking around, sneaking around, sneaking around, sneaking around. Sneaking around, sneaking around, sneaking around, sneaking around. Access granted. Welcome, Senator Blackwell. 
Yes, I am Senator Blackwell. Thanks for the inv invitation, disembodied voice. Whoa, what's this? Bag of cement! I better take that in case I need to make flour. That's one of the ingredients for flour in this. You need it to bake a cake. I guess it's instead of an egg. And dog food, sturdy combat, armor right leg. <laughs> Sniper man boss has got to get picking these locks. Got to get a pick in those stubborn locks. Yeah. DMH flip says, hey all, I'm taking advantage of free time at the moment. Awesome, welcome. I'm so happy to see you for a bit. I haven't ever done the Mothman event before. Somehow in all the time I've played, I always take a break during this week. So, is it too dangerous for my hardcore character, or do you think I would be okay? Just curious. Not sure if I'm going to do it or not. Wow, it's like a fancy telephone. This one looks different than the other ones. Hi, Salazar! Welcome! Salazar Gaming is also a content creator here on YouTube and on Twitch. Go give him some follows. He's He's been running the permadeath server in the Twitch community with me. So that's different from this. This is a project I started back in August, which is still ongoing. But I recently joined the permadeath server as well, which is like a custom server that has difficulty settings uh pumped to max and then it's also permadeath so this is a hardcore run which is the same as permadeath but it's just on a standard fallout 76 server and i've been playing this character since august 22nd 2003 and she's never died Hi, Lollipop Man, Heartness, how are you? DMH Flip says, should be fine, I believe. Should we go? That phone looks like something from the 1930s. It does! Labyrinth says, I was doing the Mothman event wearing my Mothman helmet. I'll let you guys decide, should we go to the event or is it too scary and we should stay at the White Springs? Which is also kind of scary, really. <sighs> Salzer says, it's been a lot of fun. Oil canister. Hmm. I'll try it out. Never been. Over encumbered. Oh no. Okay, what can I drop? Or drink. Do I have alcohol to fix this problem? I do. Sure hope I don't die. Join the wise Mothman's enlightened in performing a summoning ritual. Look to the rooftops for totems of warding. Blood troves can be found on the streets. Look for orange banners. Be sure to protect all of your the pyres. Enemy 
Waves will not relent. And don't forget to return to the museum rooftop before the wise one arrives. Salazar says, I'm going to get past level six tonight. I believe in you, Salazar. I believe in you. Are you going to be streaming it? Lollipop Man says, I'm good. Just finished my daily afternoon nap. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you're doing well, too. My first power armor will protect me. I hope your nap is good, Lollipop Man. I'm doing okay. I feel bad that I. Uh... Never mind. I won't say anything. I was. I was gonna reference the time change, but in start, but let's not. Where is the? Anti-armor chainsaw. There we go. But yeah, that had nothing to do with any actual person. That was just an insecurity on my part. I almost shared and then decided not to. But it didn't have anything to do with anybody, like, in the chat or anything. What do we do with the bloods? Ew, this is gross. <laughs> I wish I had a cultist outfit. What is this guy? Observer? Sight. Yes, yes, I will. Uh, thank you. Hi, Charty. <clears throat> Good to see you. The ritual site has been prepared. The summoning shall commence. Once each of the pyres has been lit. Go, ignite the flames as I release the dust of our wise one into the air. Ah, yes. The flames of our pyres ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment, however brief it may be. Breathe, children. Breathe. See the world now through his eyes, children. Let the dust and flames and fumes fill you. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you the truth. But I hope the bad guys are not difficult. For the heretic Jin ones will be enraged by this vision. <laughs> the reality of our wise one will send them into a frenzy. You must protect our sacred lights, the fires, from those wretched fiends. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. The Dean Ones approach the church. Slay them, children! Offer no quarter! The British Pyre is the heretic's next target, children. You must keep it safe. Cultist Destroyer, you mean me on a normal day? It me! <laughs> the heretics bring foul brutes with them. Let not your eyes deceive you. All you see before you must die. I think the voice no is too loud. Shape, man kind of beast, annoying. These twisted shadows blah, 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 also blah, blah, the will blah, blah, of the false blah, blah, blah. ones. 
Blah, 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 blah. Here, you can whisper. Sure, and Monday and Wednesday are my nights off, but I really wanted to stream my first goat permadeath. That's why I streamed last night. Cool. I actually noticed that when I looked at your schedule that it was a normally night off. But yeah, I think that was a good thing. Don't forget to post that you're going live in the Discord under live content. I did it for you last night, and I think multiple people of the permadeath community did see it and came to your stream. Waterside Pyre is under attack! Blah, 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 blah. I'm surrounded by cultists. I haven't even seen one bad guy. Which is okay, you know, since I'm on a hardcore run and everything. Not trying to die. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a death claw. Alpha Deathclaw, even. Hey, DMH Flip, could you mod this uh, chainsaw for me? Do you have the mods for the chainsaw? Because this one is just like a regular chainsaw that I pulled. Lollipop Man says, blub, blub, blub. <laughs> ah! Death Claw! Are you Emony? Why are you an Emony now? I thought we were friends. Crazy little monster, thank you for lurking, super heartness. How are you? DMH Flip says, sure thing, just let me know when. How about after this... This thingy, this event. I'll leave it with you at the end of the event, and then you can just bring it to me whenever you're done. I'll go back and do the Enclave quest. Of course, I don't know, maybe they have a weapon stand here and you might be able to do it here. Or actually, I think I have a weapon stand in my tent. Where's the Mothman? I don't see him. Mothman! Is he here? Oh, he's here! Hi, Mothman! He came! Yay! I love you, Mothy. This one's wise. I've never met the wise one before. First time. I've definitely met the mean one and the other one. What's the other one called? It looks a little different, the one that goes to the lighthouse. Oh my gosh, somebody looks funny after they took their power armor off. Wise Charles the Forewarned. Okay. I made a place to summon the Mothman in one of my houses. It's like a giant light to attract the Mothman. 
and also a, a throne for him, but I don't know if he ever came. Here's DMH, flip over here. I heard there's a bug. I don't know if this I don't know if this is fixed yet, but I heard there's a bug that you shouldn't eat any of your recipes you get from this event because if you do, the event will stop giving you plants. And then like wait till it's over or something and trade them if you get doubles. That's what somebody was saying. Hi, Ada, it's good to see you again. The Mothman was that weird furry creature that we just saw. He's a giant moth. Lord Adorable. That's a cute name. Wow, I got so many cultist blades from this event. And a death claw hide? I don't think I've got gotten those very often. Mason jar, pipe pistol, okay sounds good yeah I think I can find them sometimes on my other character, I have like 20 of them. <laughs> people keep giving them to me because they know I like to fix up chainsaws for people. <laughs> Thank you. This is nice. Hi, Fargassier and everyone. Welcome in. My name is Dahlia. We're playing day 30 of my hardcore run, which means if I die... I have to delete the character. So she's been going strong. Her birthday is August 22nd, 2023. So she's been around a little while. Hi, Noble. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Hope you had a good stream for our gas here. I was lurking in on it earlier. Thank you so much for bringing everybody over to say hi. That's so nice. Joshua Rees Hartness, how you doing? Having a good evening so far, and I hope you are too. So let's see, let's stash stuff in my scrap box. Scrap extra armor. Does anybody know offhand where the flamer mod for a chainsaw is? Thank you, Noble. I appreciate it. Bum, ba -da -bum. It's Versace. JK, JK. <laughs> Crash. I have to pull myself somewhere. Wait, why didn't I fix this problem before I left? Let's see here. The problem is about 26 pounds. I think that technically I can carry more weight out of my armor. It's one of those situations. I might also possibly be sick. Let's check it out. No, I'm not sick. 
I've got an assassin's fat man. That's not really helping me. Where's the closest railroad? Kind of far, right? This event is not close to a railroad. Food or drink? Well, what about... I can take a bunch of these. Let's take one of those. Eat a couple of these. That should at least get me to the train yard. Let's go to this one. Morgantown Station. My very first camp I ever built was close to Morgantown Station, up on the hill by a beehive. That was one of my favorite spots for a long time. I do like it overall. It does hit both of the points that I look for in a camp spot, which is near a railroad and near water. And then other than that, I want it to be pretty. But since then, I've ended up camping a lot of different places. I will take your stuff. Ah ha 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 And this is how I end up over encumbered. Black Mass Ninja, welcome! How you doing? Black Mass Ninja says, Hi, it's been a while, Miss Dahlia. Hi! How are you? What's new? Everybody, Black Mass Ninja is also a creator, at least on Twitch. Do you make stuff on YouTube as well? But go follow them. Thank you for subscribing, Noble. It's so nice to have you as part of the hologram fam. Super heartness. Are you enjoying this new season so far in Fallout 76? So let's see, we have the vendor bot we can talk to. Sell him some grenades. Let me go over here and see what I have to get rid of. Don't want that missile launcher. I don't want that fat man. That's something I'm wearing. Don't need this. I've been using the fixer a little bit. Marine armor left leg troubleshooters. Doesn't say I'm wearing it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Now I bet I probably have some other stuff to sell, like... Maybe in the aid section, there's probably some extra stuff that I have too much of. I don't really use blood packs. I can be of service. I don't really use glowing blood. Hi, Fargas here! Thank you so much for coming over and bringing all your friends! How was your stream? Happy Mothman Equinox! I just did my first one ever. Somehow, even though I've been playing on and off since launch, I've always missed the Mothman Equinox. So I just did the first one ever that I've ever done on my hardcore character. Woo! She took a risk, but she didn't die. I don't think I quite need this many... I don't think I quite need this many. Don't use the diluted stem packs. That helps a lot, but it looks like we still have too much stuff. What do I have in the food and drink scenario? Baked blowflies, not really the best food. Bloodbug steak is pretty okay because it increases your max HP. This one's plus two intellect. You know I'm keeping that. I don't really eat dog food. Black Mass Ninja says, I've been a whole lot hour in Wayfinder over 300 hours. Ooh, awesome. Oh yeah, I think last time I talked to you, you were really excited about that. How's it been going? Good, I guess. 300 hours good, right? I don't want these purified waters. 
I love Stingwing Filet. Stingwing Filet is one of my favorites. Not only does it give you two strength, but it's easy to make. As long as you find a Stingwing. I think that that's Mosquito, right? Giant Mosquitoes. The Florida State Bird. DMH Flip says, you find the Chainsaw Flamer mod? I forgot I had one in my stash. I haven't found one yet. If you feel like it, I would definitely be happy to to use it. Oh, this is two perception. I'll keep this, actually. They're just so heavy. So let's make sure I've got my buffs. Max HP. Two intellect. I already have. Well, let's do another cranberry cobbler because I've got plenty of that. Two strength. I always say aloud to myself and read like what I'm eating because if you accidentally take something that's the same thing but less strong, you'll override the better buff. See, like I already have a two strength, so I don't want to take the one strength thing. Energy resist. Did I already get something that has energy resist? I can't remember. Slice of birthday cake. Three charisma. Yes. Drop the spoiled meats. Eat the stingwing fillet. Ooh, sweet rolls. Similar to birthday. Oh, wait. Wolf ribs. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. Here, let me give you some wolf ribs for it. Increase your perception. That's... <laughs> Whoa, both of them got... <laughs> got mixed together. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want some wolf ribs? <laughs> Thank you for that. Now I need to pop out... My tent again. Then we can put the flamer on the chainsaw. It'll be all set. It's only one star, but it's anti-armor, so that's good. Not bad for a starter chainsaw. Woo! Epic. Thank you so much for following me, Torin. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. It's really nice to have you be part of the hologram fam. Hope you enjoy your time here. Oh, the poll completed on its own. I guess because it's been 24 hours. I didn't know that they expired. I set the room up 24 hours ago. And so now it's like, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> oh, and I also forgot to take down my pinned message. I already started. Lol. <laughs> we can make a new poll. So, new poll will be... It's kind of the same question, only different. Black Mask Ninja says, yeah, it's been going great. I'm actually playing the early access of Wayfinder, and I've been loving it. Being grinding a lot of hours, it almost feels like a job or whatnot. Plus, I've been helping a lot. That's awesome. I'm so happy that you've found that and that you've been really enjoying it. It's really nice to see you. Feels like it's been a minute since we talked. Put some ammo away. I think I'm good to go. So I've got my chainsaw. It's time to go to the Enclave and continue my mission. I'm going to show them what it's like when they let in somebody with a chainsaw. Nah, I mean, honestly, Enclave's like my favorite, so I'll be nice, I promise. I promise! 
We got we were we uh walked in here and then we got interrupted with the Mothman event and I was like, Well, I've never done it before. Should I do it? And everybody was like, Yeah and so then now we're coming back and we're starting over. <laughs> Gonna go into the enclave for the first time. Into the vault for the second time. Or the secret bunker, I guess. I'll put my chainsaw away. What are we gonna find? Oh, I forgot to mention. Anybody who's new to the challenge, if I die, I have to delete my character. She's never had a death. Modus already spoke to me once, so I don't think he'll speak to me again. He spoke to me and invited me in before we went to the Mothman event. Black Mass Ninja says, yeah, it's been a minute, and you know what? The core part of the game, I get to talk to the community manager of Wayfinder. That's so epic, so you're on the ground floor of helping to make the game better, and you're passionate about it. I love that! We turned the voice down for the event because it was kind of annoying chatter, but now I want to hear Modus again. Modus is important to our story. Hello. How you doing? Probationary access granted. Guest is asked to be respectful. Okay. Hi, Cirque. Heartness. Hello. You are standing in the White Spring Congressional Bunker. This place is nice. Real snazzy. I can't go in here. Oh no. Hello. Greetings, guest. Please make yourself at home. Okay. Here's a nice locker room. Oh yeah. A few formalities before we proceed. They're locking me in. Let's oh. Stay. oh. I'm clean. Complete. Sheesh. Be now, like. We require a photograph. <laughs> you've entered. You, you've entered a fancy place Simply for a shower, Matt. <laughs> then they spray you with a bunch of perfume, give you a haircut, and you come out of there like, Mah. why? They pulled hairs out of my face I didn't even know I had. Smiling, frowning, laughter, smirks, lewd gestures, friendly gestures, blinking, and unscheduled expiration are not permitted during the photograph process. Okay, am I supposed to photograph? Ready. Smile for the camera. Oh, my. We're sure you've heard this before, but your features are, well, they're practically Jeffersonian. Remarkable. And dumb. We've made you a little present. Please, step over to the dispenser. Custom tailored. Just a little taste of what we do here. To see more, please come downstairs so we can become better acquainted. Okay, creepy disembodied voice. Ah, there you are. Welcome. We are Modus. 
Hi, Modus. The final member of an assembly of the greatest minds ever gathered on American soil. Are you related to Mr. House? We called ourselves the Enclave. Our members were once the puppet masters of the United States, quietly pulling strings at every level of power in the nation. It was once our solemn personal duty to attend to the needs of the Enclave members that called this place home. But our earlier residents suffered from conflicts of vision. Conflicts that claimed a few of our more critical systems and permanently disfigured our shining personality. Oh, what a beautiful smile. Most critically, their squabbling has forced us to seek out men and women who can do what we no longer can. Display your utility to us, and perhaps we'll allow you to join our little enclave and allow you access to all this place is capable of. Okay. If you believe you might suit our needs, please continue down the stairs. Or, if you have questions for us, please feel free to approach this terminal. Let's ask and questions. And do help yourself to some refreshments along the way. You must be... famished. Black Mask Ninja says, well, I have to go, but I will see you soon or later. Just stop by. Heartness Black Mask Ninja, thanks again for coming by. It was really good to catch up with you. Enjoy Wayfinder. Hi, Ram. Welcome. How are you? Someone's joining the Naughty Squad. Modus is that bad uncle. <laughs> what does that mean? Because he wants me to blow stuff up? Are there questions we may answer for you? Tell me more about the Enclave. The Enclave were the true masters of the United States. Thinkers, fighters, philosophers, united in their goal to protect the world from chaos and collectivism. As you can see, we failed. Our members were unable to rise above their own disagreements, leading ultimately to their destruction. What happened to the people that were living here? They possessed differing visions of the future of the United States and the purpose of this facility, which in the end drove the resulting factions into open conflict. We were not spared by these clashes, losing large sections of our own memories and access to some of our most precious systems in the process. Systems we are very interested in seeing restored. How do I know I can trust you? I'm not going to ask that question, because how can you ever know if you can trust anyone? What's with the we thing? Are there more than one of you? In a matter of speaking, yes. Our initial design was one of service. The feeling of a personal cadre of servants for every U.S. congressman and general. However, now that we serve no interests beyond our own, we understand some might find it a bit off-putting, which serves our needs just fine. This is chat GPT in 200 years. Okay, Modus. Hmm. Hmm. What's in here? More robots. 
Hi, Please Protectron. Help yourself to something from the dispensers. Once you're seated, proceed down the hall. Okay. Can I do it to both? What do I get for that? Proceed to the next room. Sniper Man Boss says it's all pretty down there. Yeah, it looks like the Titanic. Graham says, I want to play my raider character so bad. I have an RP excuse to launch nukes. Nice. The Enclave has counted presidents, members of the Joint Chiefs, and prize-winning scientists among our membership. Before you're allowed to join such lofty ranks, we'd like you to take a brief questionnaire to see if you possess the knowledge and character we value in our members. Oh, of you want to see how... If you feel your strengths are more tangible in nature, you may approach our terminal to continue on to the next section of the evaluation. Is this the questionnaire? Let's see if I am able to do their questionnaire. I think I accidentally skipped this the first time. I think I wasn't really paying attention to what he said, and I just ran up to the other thing, and then I always felt sad about that. So this is my first time. What was your professor profession prior to your arrival? Lawyer. Which of the following thinkers' belief system most closely matches your own? Hmm... I don't know the thoughts of a lot of those people, so I'm just gonna pick Elvis Presley. Who was the 18th President of the United States? Was it at Abraham Lincoln? Is that right? In a fe formal table setting, which is the only fork placed on the right of the dinner? In a formal table setting, which is the only fork placed on the right of the dinner place? The salad fork. Which general was responsible for the re reclamation of Anchorage, Alaska in January 2077 from the Chinese Red Army? I don't know. This guy. Yeah. Ah. Uh, interesting. Why don't you step over to our terminal and we can discuss your results? I think they think I failed. I'm a failure. I'm a failure! Help! <sighs> it seems your exam results were... <laughs> well, the examination isn't required for a reason. Yay. Luckily, there is still one way you might be able to... display your worth to us. Some of our most precious external connections were damaged by our former residents, Squabbles. Which has made our forays into the outside world trying. But we have developed a plan for resolidifying them. A plan you might help us see to fruition. Please, approach the dispenser. My question is, is there a, an, advan an advantage to giving the answers that they want? Like, should I look it up on another character? 
Ram says, last week was the first time I actually watched a nuke get launched out of silo, Charlie's actual silo. I was standing near it when it opened up. That's so cool, I've never seen that. If you are not interested in our offer, you're welcome to go. Otherwise, please access the dispenser. That tape is the first step in our restoration. We would have you take it to an old naval surveillance facility known as Sugar Grove. Plugging it into any terminal in their signal intelligence room will allow us to connect to their formidable network and sniff out a piece of archive technology that was burned from our memory banks. Now, it is likely the facility will react to our intrusion, but we trust you will find a way to overcome it. Consider it a test of your resourcefulness. It's time for us to see what you are capable of. All right, I hope I don't die. I guess if she'd been classier and not a stinky lawyer vault dweller, she probably would have not had to do this quest. Hi, Tony! How are you? My modus terminal refuses to make coffee. Dang it, we need to reprogram that thing. These people have made me feel very bad about myself. They forced me to take a shower the second I got here. And then they, like, groomed me in some strange way I've never been groomed before. And then they insulted my intelligence and class, and now they're requiring me to do grunt work. But they have the nukes! So I have to play along with their little game. How do I leave? <laughs> How do I leave? Because I think that the mission they want me to do is not here, right? Let me see. Yeah, it's over here. Okay, well one way I could leave is by going like this. Snipey says, we need Dahlia alive and hologrammy. <laughs> you need to leave. That's from Skyrim. You need to leave now. Let me make sure that that's the right thing for me to go to. Make only this active. Let's go. Maybe I should put on my power armor so I don't die. Arude. Hi, Arude. There was a terminal behind you that would have opened the door. Okay, I was imagining it was probably there. I just didn't take the time to find it. Thank you for confirming it, though. I guess maybe once it's open, you don't have to do that again? Like, I go to the Enclave once in a while. I don't remember getting lost. <laughs> so. <laughs> but I sure got lost today. Let's see. Cranberry cobbler. Brain fungus soup. Blood bug steak. That should be good. I wonder what my... Do I have... What do I... I keep... So, like, my main is a chainsaw build. But I just realized, I didn't realize, I didn't know if this girl had chainsaw stuff on. It looks like she does. I just wanted to make sure before I started running around with a chainsaw. Also, I can pick a perk. What should I pick? I mean, this is kind of important if I don't have it yet.
bloody mess is kind of important. Let's see. I thought I had bloody mess maxed out. That must be on my other character. Do I have anything here that I want to take off? I could take off Pharma Pharma and put Bloody Mess on. I'm also not using a heavy gun right now. Now the only problem with the chainsaw is it kind like it's really powerful, but it also kind of increases your chance of dying because you're right up close. So let's go ahead and pick bloody mess and then level it up Do I have serendipity? Yeah, I do. Where's bloody mess? There it is. Okay, that should be good. Graham says, tell him large Marge sent ya. Dude, that's like my favorite movie. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. I love that movie. It's a masterpiece. From a film perspective. Film is an art form. Where we're going, we don't need roads. We'll just run all the way through the forest. Snipey says, did you know Adam Sandler is working on Happy Gilmore too? Wow, I didn't know that. I loved Happy Gilmore. I would watch Happy Gilmore too. Is my camera a little off? I'm gonna turn it off for a second and back on. Because I think, hello, hello, yeah, it seems like it's off, like it's weird. So I'm still here, I'm just trying to get the camera to line up properly. Hello, 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 that looks better. I was just, I, I caught like a glimpse of my monitor and it looked like the... <laughs> camera was not like the camera was off from my voice I thought maybe it was subtle enough most people didn't notice but I noticed Snipey says yeah Ram he's from my city his family lives here in the next town that's so cool I don't remember what it's like in here to be honest I've only done these quests once, and it was a long time ago. Alright, mole rats, let's go! You know you've been playing too much Fallout 76 when you go to a hardware store and you start eyeing a chainsaw for the apocalypse. For the potential apocalypse. That actually happened to me. I was in a hardware store and I was like, wow, I need a chainsaw and a raincoat. My fiance was like, what? I was like, never mind. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> Please fly! Oh, I think I could do it if I did it again. Tattooed Biker Unexplained! Oh my gosh, I was thinking about you. How you doing? Welcome back, Salazar! Ram says, I wonder how they will bring back the memory of Chubbs. Yeah! Ram 
Ram says, no joke, there are articles about it five days ago. That's awesome. How are you, Tattooed Biker Unexplained? Everybody, Tattooed Biker Unexplained makes really cool mystery and, like, spooky story type videos. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, please go give him a sub and show him some gardening love. His content is really cool, especially if you like spooky stories and unexplained mes mysteries. I have to fly! Yeah, I got it. Iron Man Duck, welcome! How are you? Everybody, go sub to Iron Man Duck too. Iron Man Duck makes gaming content with a twist. He has really cool extra interactive things and really funny, awesome elements to his stream. So if you want to see a stream unlike any other, please go follow and sub to Iron Man Duck. He streams here on YouTube and he also streams on Twitch. So he dual streams. And I think maybe kick too, right? Are you triple streaming? Tattooed Biker Unexplained says, I just got a puppy like a week ago. That's awesome, Tattooed Biker Unexplained. Oh, what kind of puppy? Labyrin says, you like Huey Lewis and the News? Dude, that's like my favorite movie, but I think we talked about that before, right? That's definitely where the freaking thought of a raincoat probably came from. Submit to authority. Is that the same as respect my authority? <sighs> respect my authority. I think the chainsaw would be faster. <sighs> Because I have chainsaw build on. Respect my authority. Uh oh. Out of bullets. I am not prepared. Let's go in with the chainsaw, people. Show them who's boss. Oh my god. <laughs> It's me! I'm boss! You- you just don't know it yet! Alright, Biatch. Now I'm mad. You scared me. Made me think I was gonna die. Ugh. Is there a freaking- Yep. You know I have no range weapons. <laughs> what the? I better get away. Better sneak away, sneak away, sneak away. Better sneak away. I better sneak away, sneak away, sneak away. Better sneak away. Tattooed Biker Unexplained says, Well, she's eight months old, so pretty big, but very much a puppy. She's an American pit bull. Aw, awesome. Iron Man Duck says, No kick. Okay, weird. I don't know why I keep thinking you're on kick. Did you do it briefly? Did you see my question earlier about the legendaries? I'm sorry, I don't think I did. Let me look. <laughs> Did you see my question earlier about the legendaries? Was it, like, how far back was it? Could you please ask the question again? Or maybe it didn't come through the chat for some reason, because I just scrolled up a little bit and don't see it. Labyrinth says, my favorite part of the movie is comparing business cards. I know it's funny how aggro people having nice business cards makes him, right? DMH Flip says, well, I'm headed back out. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for playing, DMH Flip, and thanks for helping mod my chainsaw. Heartness. See you soon. It's always great to have you around. 
And anybody who plays 76 on PC and wants to add me, I accept all friend requests. If there's ever a spot in my group, feel free to jump in. If, if I'm live, make sure you say hi in chat, because otherwise I might not realize that, you know, you're grouping with me on purpose for that reason. If that makes sense. I always put people in chat ahead in priority, I guess is an easy way to say it. I like the permadeath server the way it is, Salazar. I think that the rules are pretty cool. But I'm somebody who is enjoying the permadeath server for its difficulty. And legendary would obviously make it easier. So I feel like in this situation, with the way that the server was designed, having the legendaries not not do anything, essentially be deactivated, definitely works. And for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, Salazar and I both play on Comrade Vanya's permadeath server, which if some of you may uh, also go to streams on Twitch. So it's become a big thing amongst Fallout 76 streamers on Twitch. Essentially what it is, is it's a community server built out of a custom world it's open to the public and it's a it's set so it's like 200 percent damage done to you um npcs are set to hard you get negative 25 percent ap or actually i think it's things cost 25 percent more ap you have negative 25% carry weight, like all the difficulty settings are essentially set to max. And then also legendaries are deactivated, so you could technically pick up one, one star stuff, but it won't do you any good. You can't, if you use it, the actual effect it says doesn't take effect, and there's no way to redeem it for script. So you just make your own armor, all the other plans and crafting and stuff is the same as the regular game. But it's pretty cool. It's been a lot of fun. Because, I mean, I've been doing permadeath runs for a really long time. Like, uh, this particular run I've been doing since August of 2023 and I've never had a death. This is just on a normal standard Fallout 76 server. But, and I also have completed a Fallout 4 survival difficulty permadeath run. I've done many Skyrim legendary survival permadeath runs. So permadeath runs have been a staple of my content for years. So when I saw the opportunity to join the permadeath server, I took it. Now I'm level 12 on there. And it's really cool because it's, it's got a leaderboard, so it's got a competitive aspect to it. I think we have one person that's made it to like level 88 without a death on all the hard mode settings. So it's been pretty cool. I've really enjoyed it. My goal is to make it to at least level 100 on there. And who knows, I may bring a run of that here to YouTube. Right now I am making some content on Twitch about it, so if you guys haven't already subbed to me, or I, it's called following on Twitch, but if you haven't already followed me on Twitch, there is a link in the description to my Twitch, as well as to all my other socials, so I'd love to connect with you on whatever it is you already use. And thank you so much everybody for being here, please don't forget to like and subscribe to bookmark the channel. Remote door control. What's 
this. Nothing that I need, just wait. Iron Man Duck says, I'll pull you back up when I get home on my computer. Till then, have a good night, everyone. Heartness, Iron Man Duck. Tattooed Biker Unexplained says, my family has always had pit bulls. I still have my six-year-old blue nose, but I lost one to old age last month. And this particular breed does better with at least a pair. Aw, Heartness. Hi, a lost airbender. Welcome back. Good to see you. Tattooed Biker says, they need a lot of socialization and playtime. I'll jump back and watch this from the beginning. Well, I love chatting with you. Um, and I'm sorry, like, this is not the permadeath server. This is my own, this is still my run that has, this run has been going on since before the permadeath server started. This is just a, a hardcore run on Perimeter a regular server. Oh, shit. stealth unit in the AO. Engaging. Possible stealth unit in the AO. What? Ugh. Ugh, here she comes. All right, Biatch. I have not been programmed to fail. Neither have I, Biatch. Freaking shoot uh. your ass. Uh. I'm gonna kill you. Uh. Ugh. Sorry about the cussing. I couldn't handle that. Assaultrons have long been my freaking, like, um, scariest, only thing that scares me in this game. They're my nemesis. My heart just started pounding so hard. That was the first time I felt like I might actually die in this whole run. And we got through it. With a little bit of cussing, which I'm sorry about, but we got through it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please forgive me. I'll try not to cuss again. Hi, don't believe, Uwu. How you doing? Oh, that was so scary. If that was full of vodka, I would drink it in the game. Is it because I'm in my suit? Run upper column diagnostic check. I don't know how to read, sorry. <laughs> In the coming weeks, you may encounter one or more external contractors being escorted to or from the lower levels of this facility. These men and women are a part of Captain West Sumnus's initiative and as such are not to be interacted with by anyone but their handlers or the facility's commanding officers. Should you ever find any of these contractors without an escort, it is your responsibility to immediately inform the base marines of their contractor's location. Under no circumstances should you attempt to detain... I'm, just, I'm like afraid somebody's gonna, one, some robot's gonna sneak up behind me. Or communicate with these individuals. Like, I'm kind of scared to read this. But I want to. Come on. Come back. I've been having an issue where sometimes my controller loses connection. There we go. Intel Preservation Directive. To all personnel, this is a reminder any and all collected intelligence must be documented and deposited into the facility's archival system. If you have not yet received your training in use of the archives, please contact your immediate superior who will register you for the next available class. To all Sugar Grove personnel, the work we do here is of an incredible, incredibly sensitive nature. For this reason, all communications with or 
destined for sources outside our facility must first be cleared by either myself or Captain West. Requests for information or project status from any outside sources, regardless of the rank claimed by the inquiring individual, must be forwarded directly to us. Anyone responding to such messages will be disciplined. You don't want to be the one who lets our intelligence fall into enemy hands, do you? Oh, I'm supposed to be loading something. System access tape. Hartness Salazar, good night. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. I hope you have a really good time. I'll try to pop by if I can after stream. Initiate external connection. Deploying automated response team. Oh god, what? Uh collect. Um what? Where's that at? Who's ready to have their butt kicked? No! Identify yourself. I don't have power armor on either. I'm so scared, though, that it doesn't even feel like I just hit another level. But kickery Lego! <laughs> Hostile target identified. Oh gosh. I think it's downstairs. Where is it? I don't see it. It's right there. You're gonna learn how Uncle Sam deals with coming maggots! I'm not a commie though. As far as I'm concerned, <sighs> you're the commie. Alright, return the instructions to White Springs. Let's go. We escaped! Yay! That was scary. The belief says Dahlia the commie. Silly. Silly Dova. <laughs> Woodland Retreat House. Let's see what they did with it. This place is pretty cool. Kind of looks like a fun house. All right, now back to here. Kamiya. <laughs> You're funny. Return to White Spring. Am 
My girl's so strong now. I can't believe that she's having such good adventures without dying. Back at last. We've been enjoying the connection you've helped us establish. Immensely. Bring the instructions downstairs, would you? I guess. Might as well save my power art power fuse. Fusion core, whatevs. Hello. Oh, I forgot to push the button. So dramatic, these vault entrances. Let's go down. Please deposit the instructions in the collector against the far wall. Ah, uh, yes. This should only take a moment. There. Please step over to the dispenser. What dispenser? Those who came before you butchered our external connection hardware, scrambling the link between us and our closest and dearest system. The Kovac Muldoon Orbital Platform. An ever-watching eye. Trained. On Appalachia. In order to secure our connection once and for all, we'll need you to perform one last errand. show several facilities in the region with uplink systems which that device should be capable of overriding simply plug the device into the console we've designated and our modifications should give us the crystal clear connection we've missed for so long though standing well back is advised. Good to know. Deploy the uplink module at the connection site. Okay. Looks like we're out of here again. And this time we're going to... Welcome back, Iron Man Duck. So great to see you. Hi, Alonzo. Good to see you. How have you been? Main one of us. What? Hmm. It's just right here. Okay. Easy. I was afraid I was going to have to go do something scary. Kick me out, sheesh. I was leaving on my own. Alonzo says, I've been good. I had to see how my friend Dahlia was doing. Doing well. We are we just hit 59 on our hardcore run. So things are going good. I've been having a blast playing this. 
how are things for you? Are you enjoying the new season? What do y'all think about the changes to the system? My thoughts are that I like it. It's Mothman! Everybody's favorite Mothman. It's Mothman. Everybody's favorite Mothman. Mothy, Mothy, Mothman. Foundation was constructed on the site of the Spruce Knob Campground, affording the settlers a commanding view of the nearby hills and valleys. Okay, so you want me to go over here, I think, somewhere. Oh, it's way over here. Huh. Okay. Oh no, I'm over encumbered. Well, let's deal with this. Yay, a hundred dollars. I'm gonna turn that into a pillow. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this doesn't get me killed. Deploy the uplink module at the connection site. <clears throat> Crash! Now we have to find the connection site. Sniperman boss says, Sniper made a bowl of blueberry muffin frosted mini wheats for Dahlia Hartness. Thank you, Snipey! It's delicious! Hold on. I think I have a charger. If I get out of this right now, I'll save the fusion core. So, take this one out. <laughs> it had 1% left. <laughs> I have to be careful not to accidentally use up my fusion cores. I guess I should put this one away so I don't accidentally use it.
Okay, so this goes in there. Then I can grab some of the ones that are already charged. And everything's good. Looks like the place is up ahead. So I should eat and drink. Ooh, I should cook. I didn't know that I had so much meat that wasn't food. Very nice, very nice. Alright, death claw steak, nuka cherry, stingwing filet, blood bug steak. Mole rat chunks. I don't really like mole rat chunks. Green fungus soup. Cranberry cobbler. Slice of birthday cake. Oh, I need more drinks. Okay, Nuka Cola Quantum. Hmm. Wow, kind of running low on options for drinks there. Just flying through the forest. Pretty typical day. Wonder who's here. What kind of creatures will it be? It's scorched! It's special scorched. I think I need to finish the dailies for today. Radio Astronomy Research Center. What happens if I go in from the upstairs? Search the body. What body? Did I just skip a body? Interesting. What does it say about that? Learn the history of Riverside Manor. I'm curious about that. But to start, we have to do this. Everywhere. 
We suppose we understand now why it is you wanted to join us. Speaking of which, you've kept your end of the bargain. Let us fulfill ours. We've ordered the Kovac to drop off a little care package. Return once you've collected its contents. Well. A care package from outer space. I'm the cable guy. Turn to White Springs. Yay! Let's go. Well, it's been a very good day. I think. There was some scary parts of this mission, but we did well. I am Sam Blackwell, let me in. Oh wait, I always forget. Big button. It's got a big button and I cannot lie. All other doors can't deny. That when you go into a vault, they stick a metal plate in your face, you get sprung on the walkway. Now you can be in the white springs. What sort of things are you expecting me to do? Hmm. I don't think any of these questions feel like something I would ask. I'm 
tempted to take a little jump into mystery next week. But we'll see. I'll think about it. Because we still have a few more things to do before we can launch a nuke. Earn full access to the White Springs military wing. I think just for the time being, we might take a little break and do that side quest. Just because that sounds good. But that's going to be next week. I do think there's going to be some bonus streams this week, likely tomorrow, likely Thursday. I'm going to release my official schedule on Discord, hopefully sometime tonight, otherwise early tomorrow. I am going to go ahead and find somebody to redirect to, but before I go, I want to say thank you so much to, for being here. Thank you to all the new subs, and thanks everyone who liked the stream. Let's see. Don't forget, there's the description below if you would like access to my Twitch channel, my Discord, any other social that you use that you want to find me on. I'm on a lot of them. I think the main one I don't make content on right now is Snap, but other than that, pretty much everything else. So, let's see who's on. <laughs> we did it. We joined the Enclave. We did it. We joined the Enclave. And I thought I was going to die, but I didn't. Woohoo! Let's see, I seem to only have one friend playing Fallout 76 right now. It's Bernie P, so maybe we should go see Bernie P since we're doing Fallout 76 stream today. When we get there, don't forget to say hologram redirect. Just in case they miss the message over their chat because Honestly, YouTube only flashes it for a second, so it's really cool to, like, announce that we're coming in and stuff just in case they miss it. But I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Like I said, next stream's gonna uh, mo very most likely be tomorrow, starting at about 6 p.m. Eastern. I don't know if it'll be a Fallout 76 stream. I have a couple of games that I was given a key to, and so I need to, like, decide which one I want to stream first and all that. And that's why, if you are interested in the details, check the Discord. But otherwise, I should be here if you want to hang out. And I will talk to you all soon. Thank you so much, Labyrinth, for modding. I hope you all have a great night. Bye.